Hi there. In today's lesson we're going to look at solving equations which lead to quadratic equations. But these equations involve algebraic fractions. Here we see an equation and it has two fractions. Here's the first one. And here's the second one. Now there are many ways to solve an equation like this. But I think that the simplest way to do it is to get rid of the fractions by simply multiplying both sides of the equation by the denominators. First, we are going to multiply both sides by x plus 2. Here we have multiplied both sides of the equation by x plus 2. The reason we have done that is so that we can cancel out these denominators. So the first denominator is gone. Now we only have one more denominator and that is x. We can get rid of that by multiplying both sides of the equation by x. And the reason we do that is so that we can cancel out the second denominator. Now we have a very simple equation and all we are left to do is multiply it out and solve it. Multiplying 5x plus 4 by x we get 5x squared plus 4x. Now we multiply minus 3 by x plus 2 and we get minus 3x minus 6 because it's minus by a plus. And on the right hand side I'm going to multiply x plus 2 by x first and then multiply the result by 2. So inside the bracket I have x plus 2 times x gives me x squared plus 2x. And when I multiply that out by 2, I get 2x squared plus 4x. Now if you look at this equation, we have no fractions anymore. All of the hard work has been done. The highest power of x is x squared. And if we bring all the terms to one side and we add up the like terms, we will get a very straightforward quadratic equation. So let's add up all of the like terms first of all. 5x squared minus 2x squared, when we bring the 2x squared over to the left hand side, plus 4x minus 3x minus 4x, when we bring it to the left hand side, minus 6. And now there's nothing left on the right hand side, so we have 0. Now plus 4x and minus 4x cancel out. And by adding up the like terms we get 3x squared minus 3x minus 6 equal to 0. Now remember the question asked us to solve this. So I'm looking for a value of x which satisfies this equation. I can divide both sides by 3. And I still get 0 on the right hand side because 0 divided by 3 is 0. I can either use the quadratic formula or I can factorize. I'm going to try and factorize here. But feel free to use the quadratic formula if you like. You will get the same answer. Now the factors of minus 2 will be 2 and 1 but one of them must be minus and one of them must be plus. So I'm going to try minus 2 and plus 1. And let's test that. First of all we test the inside. Minus 2 by x gives us minus 2x. Now we test the outside. x times 1 gives us plus 1x. And if we add those two together we get minus x, which is correct. OK, so we have our two factors. I must remember to make that equal to 0. x minus 2 is equal to 0, therefore x is equal to 2 is one solution. And x plus 1 equal to 0 gives me x is equal to minus 1 is my other solution. So you see you get two solutions to this original equation. Now we will test our answer by substituting into the original equation. So we substitute 2 into our original equation. 
Evaluating this, we get on the left hand side 10 plus 4 on the top and 4 on the bottom, minus 3 over 2 equal to 2. That gives me 14 over 4 minus 3 over 2. I need a common denominator here, so I'm going to write 6 over 4 instead of 3 over 2, and that's equal to 2. So my left hand side is equal to 14 over 4 minus 6 over 4, which is 8 over 4, which is 2, and that's equal to my right hand side. So I have satisfied my equation. Now if you have time, it's a good idea to test your answers in this way. I think you will find that if you substitute minus 1 into the equation, it will also satisfy it. So those are the two solutions to the original equation. Thank you for listening.